your first alert five weather. Hi everyone, an update came out this morning. The last La Nina update from the Climate Prediction Center. La Nina is done and we are heading towards an ENSO neutral pattern. So for La Nina, you're looking at waters in the Pacific and this is the equator, so equatorial Pacific. If the temperature anomaly is below zero degrees Celsius, you have a La Nina, so that's more of the blues. But we're starting to see along the equator line more of these yellows, so more yellows and oranges. We're warming the water up, which means we're heading away from a La Nina year into an Enso neutral phase through the summer. Now, the last three years were La Nina years. It was a triple dip. It was kind of a fairly rare phenomenon, but unfortunately La Nina in Colorado, but also across the West is associated with drought. We have had really bad drought from California through Colorado since 2020. Now the neutral years, the grays, or the neutral phase is expected to hang on through early summer. That to that, the chances go below 50% and El Nino chances actually start to come back a little bit stronger through the fall and winter. Meaning we're done with La Nina. Our chances of staying neutral through the summer and fall, kind of 50% coin flip, but into the winter, we could bring back an El Nino phase. Now that would be great for California and the South in general because a typical, typical wintertime El Nino phase means more than normal moisture. Unfortunately for Colorado, we don't seem to have much of an impact out of El Nino. We would probably be cooler than normal through the winter, but we won't necessarily get more snow. Even the Climate Center says there's not much of an association with rain or snow in the wintertime for Colorado and La Nina, but it's still good drought wise for the West and the South. Today, drought probably on our minds just due to the fire danger. It's been windy wind gusts through the afternoon here in the 20 to 40 mile per hour range, and it's helping temperatures out. Today, we have highs forecast into the 40s and 60s and 50s. The 40s are in the mountains, but the 50s and 60s are doing a lot better through the plains. Now, the next big thing coming our way is probably St. Patrick's Day Parade. That is this Saturday. KOAA will be there. I'm going to be there. I'm excited. It's going to be a daytime high in the upper 50s. We'll have wind gusts in the 20 to 30 mile per hour range, but rain chances are starting to grow for the parade. Look at the moisture chance here in Colorado Springs. I'm going to bring this out from 6 a.m. Saturday through the lunch hour. Now remember the parade starts at noon and the models are starting to bring back a little bit of rain at least. As the day goes on, rain would spread into Pueblo Saturday and there could even be some snow changeover, especially in the Pikes Peak region Saturday night. So for our seven day forecast in Colorado Springs, 60s on Friday, still windy outside, but dry Saturday. We're now anticipating a chance of rain through the daytime, and we think that there could be some snow mixing in at the end of the day and the evening. Sunday also could be daytime rain, evening snow, but we kind of stay mild through Tuesday and Wednesday. Now, Canyon City Woodland Park, tune in at the end of the broadcast here. You'll get your seven days, but in Pueblo, we know that we're going to be almost 70 tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, 60s and 50s, and then when we look through the extended forecast Tuesday, Wednesday, we think we'll be dry.